Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you some things that I bought with money that I got for Christmas. There was just one thing that I did ask my mom for if she would get it for me because I tried to get it myself and it was out of stock and she had said something to me one day about oh I hate to just give you money because then it seems like you don't have anything to open and she said Is, isn't there anything that you would like that I could get you that's not makeup <laughs> I was like yeah there is a book that I want so look look at the size of this thing <laughs> I'm gonna be reading this for the rest of my life actually right now I'm halfway through Atlas Shrugged and that's over a thousand pages long so whenever I finish Atlas Shrugged whenever that may be because it's taking me a while because I never feel like I have time to sit down and read this is what I will be reading after that so I asked her if she would get me this book and what it is is it is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark and this was on Netflix they made a mini series out of it and we watched this uh, a couple weeks ago I guess it was now and I loved it I really really loved it and the mini series was I think three hours they cut it into two parts so part one was like an hour and a half part two was like an hour and a half and so I said to myself geez I bet you they left had to leave a lot of stuff out and um yeah <laughs> this book won all kinds of awards I think it won a Hugo Award and it was um the book was out quite a few years before they turned it into a miniseries. So it was on the BBC and then they brought it here to America and then it was on BBC America and then Netflix bought the rights to it to air it and so it's on Netflix now. Now as far as what this is about if I gave you a description of it it would give too much away and that would spoil it because Half the fun with this storyline is figuring out what the heck is going on. <laughs> so all I will say to describe this is that it is historical fantasy. And um, that's the way I would describe it. But yeah, I if you're interested, there's probably a trailer on Netflix that you could watch just to whet your appetite. But I really, really loved this and knew that you know there's got to be more to the story than what they showed us so really really looking forward to getting into that as soon as I finish Atlas Shrugged. Uh, another thing that I got is I got some new slippers and I wasn't really looking for any but I saw these yesterday at CVS of all places uh, the brand is called Rester, R-E-S-T-O-R. -E this is the box that they come in. They were only $10. And they have um, memory foam in them, but they also have a little bit of an arch support to them. One thing that I hate about slippers is usually they're just completely flat. And if you wear slippers a lot hanging around inside the house, you can run into problems with your feet because I've had problems with my feet before from wearing shoes that didn't have enough support so these look like they did so let me take one off so I can show you because I've been wearing them ever since I got them yesterday um, so they, they're just plain black but see how they have like a, a shoe type sole on them and it goes it goes up so it, it actually has some arch support and then it has some kind of um, like rubber at the bottom so that you wouldn't slip like on the carpet or whatever uh, they're more like shoes to me than they are slippers but they're really comfortable they fit me great they were only 10 bucks I had gone into CVS to look at the makeup and I walked by those and I was like oh wow I, I need slippers <laughs> so I got those and then we went to Old Navy yesterday and they had marked a bunch of things down like they always do at Old Navy and I saw this sweater for only $15 and I couldn't resist. It's just a crew neck pullover, long sleeve knit top, and they call this color Lake Effect. And it's very similar to my eye color. See, my eyes are like a greenish blue, 
or an aqua and this pretty much matches my eyes perfect so I thought that might be pretty because now that the spring collections are starting to come out for makeup I'm looking at these lighter cooler type colors and thinking about things that I want to do for makeup actually I did a, a look and I look um, last week I think using this type of color with some color pop shadows that I had so um, yeah I wanted to pick that up because you know winter is just getting started so even if I'm gra gravitating towards other colors it's still gonna be winter and you know we haven't even had a snowstorm yet or anything so I figured I would pick that up we've got a long ways to go before spring comes and then I was at Target yesterday, and Target has the cutest socks, you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but this is a unicorn cat with a rainbow on a cloud. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, he's got wings. But isn't that cool? But they have all these animal print socks, and I just thought these were adorable. These are just like those little crew, low-cut, footy-type socks. Um, I, f I find these kind of socks to be really comfortable. I used to always wear knee socks when I was younger, and then I switched to like, like crew socks, like ankle length socks and now I'm in these <laughs> my socks are getting smaller and smaller as the years go by but I just don't like that feeling of having anything around my legs plus you know what it is I always wear like skinny jeans and when you wear skinny jeans if you have socks on that come up higher they get like all bunched up underneath your pants so that's part of the problem too is I want my socks to be low so that they won't get messed up by my pants or vice versa but yeah, Target has really cute socks right now, and they're only $1.50 a pair, so you can't go wrong. So I got those. All right, now the rest of everything I have to show you is makeup. Uh, let's see, what should I start with? Let's start with this. I bought a backup of the NYX lip primer, and I very rarely buy backups of anything because... I don't, I don't know. I buy so much makeup that it just doesn't make sense usually to buy backups. But I wear the NYX lip primer under everything that I wear for lip products. Um, today I have it on underneath the lip product that I'm wearing, which is Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Barely Brown. This is not new, but the only reason why I'm showing it to you is I don't think I've worn this in a video yet, and I showed it to you in a haul a couple weeks ago. And um, so, just in case you were curious what it looked like on, that's what it looks like on. But um, as far as other things that I purchased with money that I got for Christmas, while I was at CVS yesterday, the NYX products were buy two, get one free. So... I got a backup lip primer and I got two of their eyeliners. I had never tried the NYX slide on glide on eyeliners and I just tried one for the first time a few minutes ago. I bought two of them because like I said the NYX stuff was buy two get one free so I got the lip primer for free. The one that I'm wearing is Golden Bronze. So I have this on my waterline and tight line right now. And it's, it's uh, you know, a bronze color. But these are pretty amazing, you guys. I can't believe I've never heard anybody talk about these. I have some of the lip liners, and they're pretty good. But I had never tried the eyeliners. But watch this. You see how smooth that is and how pigmented, and it just glides right on. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, this color. Um, I don't think that they all have shimmer in them though. I think some of them might be more of like a cream finish. So I got that one, but the one that I wanted most of all, and I was going to use it today, but I decided to just do neutral everything. Neutral clothes, neutral makeup colors, the whole bit. But I this is the one that I really really wanted this is called tropical green 
Is that or is that not the most gorgeous shade of green you've ever seen? It's, oh, I just think that is stunning. So that is tropical green. I should have did that today because then it would have been a pop of color against all these neutral shades that I have on. But I was curious about the golden bronze one too. But yeah, these eyeliners are awesome. Now they kind of remind me formula wise of the L'Oreal Silkissimi. And I really liked those, but they irritate my eyes. So as soon as I swatched these when I got home on my hand, I thought, oh, I wonder if these are going to irritate my eyes. Well, I just put it on and no problem at all. Thank God. Because if something's going to irritate my eyes, I, it'll do it like right away. It's not going to be like a delayed reaction. But as far as like how well will this stay on my waterline and all that, I have no idea because I just did it. But they're supposed to be waterproof. But yeah, how gorgeous are those? So... I'm not sure how CVS's sales run. I think they go Sunday to Saturday. So that should be going on. Uh, let's see, yesterday was Monday. So yeah, that should be go. If you're interested in picking up any NYX products for that two for one thing, it should be going on all this week, I think. I think that's how their sales run. But yeah, these are great. And there's um i was looking at the colors and they, they have some really pretty colors besides these so i got those um so i got those things those four things at cvs the the two eyeliners the lip primer and the slippers and let's see the next thing i'm going to show you these things are all from walgreens these next things i'm going to show you I uh, might as well talk about this. Rimmel has some new eyeshadow palettes. They have three different ones, and they have three, six, nine, twelve shadows. This is the Magnifies eyeshadow contouring palette. They have they have three different ones, but I just picked out the one that interested me the most. This is what the palette looks like. This was eight dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Which, you know, $8 for 12 shadows, that's a really good deal. These aren't the most pigmented shadows in the world, but if you've used Rimmel powder eyeshadows before, then you have an idea what to expect. Because to me, the formula is quite similar to what they've always released. So, yeah, this is the one that I was drawn to. Oh, the name of this one is Keep Calm and Wear Gold. Uh, there's obviously some shades in there that are not gold, but that's just the name of the palette. So this is the one that I was immediately drawn to, but there's two others, and there's one that's like, um, oh, it's, it's really hard to describe those, those colors of the other two palettes, but if you go to Walgreens, I'm sure you'll see them. I haven't been able to find them online, so I don't have a link or anything that I can link you to, but they should be popping up in stores pretty soon. If I found them at my Walgreens, trust me, they're, they're probably at yours because the Walgreens closest to me takes them forever to get stuff. So anyways, this is what I have on my eyes today. I did... Oh, one thing I should tell you though is I had to use a colored base because I used this yesterday and played around with it and I could tell that it needed a little help. So what I did was I have some of those Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow sticks and this is bulletproof beige so it's like a golden beige so I just put a thin layer of that all over my eye area and then I put this on top just so you don't think that this is just you know this okay so I use the lightest shade as my brow bone highlight and then I took this champagne color right here and I use that as a inner corner highlight and I use that on the inner third of my lids and this I have in the center of my lids and actually I use five shadows from the palette now that I think about it I use this shade right here in the crease 
and then I used this shade right here in the outer third of my lids and the outer V, uh, the outer corner of my eye area. So yeah, I used five shadows from the palette to do the look that I have on. And I like it, but if I didn't have a colored base under it, it wouldn't be as uh, pigmented as it is. But the shadows blended nicely and I didn't have any issues with the application. But I put it on over this, so that is that. Okay, um, let's see, what's next? Milani. Milani has some new face palettes out and they are called face and eye strobe palettes. There are three different ones to pick from. I got number two candlelight. By the way, I can't do swatches of the, the eyeshadow palette that I just showed you. Anything that I show you today that you want swatches of, I mean, I, I know I swatched the eyeliners, but there's just no way that I can swatch all this stuff because it would make the video way too long. So if you want me to do a separate video on something and do swatches, I will do that. So you can let me know. Anyways, um, okay, so Milani has three new palettes out called Face and Eye Strobe Palette. The one I got is called Candlelight. This is number two. And that's what the packaging looks like. This was kind of expensive for drugstore. This was $12. I'm pretty sure it was $12. So that's a lot for a drugstore palette, but it's beautiful. I've used this on my face. I've used it on my eyes. I've used it in a number of different ways. I've used it as eyeshadow, highlight, you name it. I've been playing with this for the last few days and I love it. I think it is worth $12. And the other two are pretty too, but this one was the one that was best suited for my skin tone. So I have this highlight on my face right now, lay it over something else I'm going to show you in a minute. This one, uh, it's like that golden, sort of like a caramel color. Um, this is only going to be an eyeshadow for me. I have used it that way and it was beautiful because it's not, um, I don't like shimmer in a bronzer and it, to me it isn't really the right shade for a bronzer anyway. The reason why I chose this palette is like I said, I thought it was best for my skin tone, but I was going by this color, which is like, the, it's a blush and that, you know, I was basing it what color, which palette to buy. So maybe if you bought one of the other palettes, you would be able to use the center color as a bronzer, but not in this one. And I think they're all shimmer because it is a strobe palette. But um, I have this blush on right now and oh, it is so pretty. Yesterday I really packed it on so you could see it better, but I was trying to tone it down a little bit today because um, I think I put too much on yesterday. But this blush color is gorgeous. I, I love it so much. I have to swatch that for you so you can see. See how it's got like a glow to it? So that's the blush in the candlelight palette. But I love that. And the highlight is beautiful too. I'm gonna have to swatch that for you too. <laughs> so there's the highlight. And I do have that on over something else. So it's just like a gold, a light, light golden color. And then the center color is just a different shade of gold. It's more like, you know, a deeper, darker, warmer gold. And I used that with the Rimmel palette um, and just used this as an eyeshadow the other day. Yesterday, I think I did, yeah. So this, these are beautiful, and I think I would pass on the other two, though, because I know this one is the best one for my skin tone, but there are the other two palettes have some deeper shades in them. So it looks to me like they more or less design 
one palette for light skin tones, one palette for medium, and one for dark. It, that's kind of the, the way it looks like they did it, which makes perfect sense. Something for everyone. So I love candlelight. Beautiful. And I said that I layered that over something else. Jordana came out with a cream highlight. This is called Jordana Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick. And this is number one in Pearl Glow. This is what the packaging looks like. And it's just a twist up stick. And this is like a light champagne. So it kind of goes nice with that powder highlight. Matter of fact, I'm going to swatch it right next to that. Okay, so that's the Milani highlight shade right there. I'm going to do this right underneath. Yeah, that's wicked subtle. So that's why I layer them together. Um, let me try to... Okay, there it is right there. So see, it's it's pretty, but it's really subtle. So I just like layering a powder highlighter over it, but if you like a subtle highlighter, um, you know, this might be for you if you don't like a wham in your face highlighter, but you could also use this probably as an eyeshadow base. I mean, I don't see why not. Um, and then put like a gold eyeshadow over it. But this, you know, it's a lot of things you could do with that. And I don't remember the price off the top of my head on this one. But um, Jordana products are not expensive at all. So it probably wasn't hardly anything. And then Jordana came out with an extension of their Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. They've got six new shades. <laughs> And um, they had, they, these were on like a cardboard display at Walgreens, but they had some other shades on the display that are in the existing line. And I didn't really look at those too much, but there are two permanent shades that I don't have from before. So, but I couldn't remember off the top of my head, like all the names of all the different ones and which two I was missing. So I, I didn't want to buy something that I already had by accident. So I just got the ones that I knew were new shades. So I'm just going to go through these fast so that I can get everything in this video because we're already at 22 minutes. So this is Cinnamon Toast. If you never tried these, they're awesome. They're very inexpensive, but the formula is pretty much perfection. So that's Cinnamon Toast. So perfect, neutrally nude shade and sugar berry crumble so that's like a hot fuchsia strawberry sundae that's like a, a light warm pink molten chocolate cake this is a warm brown really warm brown kind of like uh, color pop tansy yeah. yeah I would say that's very much like color pop tansy uh, buttercream frosting really really pale peach pinky peach peachy pink and current jam this I wore on Christmas and it looked really pretty on so that's current jam, like a berry shade. And when I was at Walgreens, they had the new Wet n Wild stuff. And once I saw the liquid lipsticks in person, I bought three more shades that I didn't have when I placed my order from their website. So I got um, Berry Recognize. I wore this yesterday and I couldn't stop looking at it. It was so pretty. And it's as far it's funny because I wore Current Jam by Jordana on Christmas and then I wore Berry Recognized yesterday. So same color family, both like berry shades, but 
both of these really, really good color family for me on my skin. That I also got Nice to Fuchsia, which is sort of in that berry family, but leaning a little more fuchsia rather than berry. And this one, I'm not sure how this is going to look on me. This is Nudist Peach. And peaches are tricky for me. Very few peaches in my life have looked good on me. I have one by Marc Jacobs that looks good, but um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. So yeah, this the video is 25 minutes, so I do, obviously I can't swatch all this stuff, but I'll be showing it to you again either in a Get Ready With Me video or I can do a separate video where I just show you the swatches of some of these things, Or but I did at least swatch the eyeliners and the highlighters for you. So that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Bye.